Hello, my name's Nick Vandenberg and I'm from the Australian Intercollegiate Meat Judging Association. We're here today to judge some lamb classes. When we're looking at lamb, we want to look at value and value comes from yield. We're looking for trimness, then muscling. Our last factor in value for lamb is quality. So we have two lambs here today. The first lamb we can see has good bulging in his leg that carries through over the chump, the dock and the sirloin with a well-defined sirloin junction. Over the loin and the rack, over the shoulder, we have a good amount of bluing. The other thing that sets this lamb apart is we have a nice square loin edge. Remembering that fat is flat, so we want to see that punch and that definition. So we place this lamb out of these two higher. The reasons is this lamb is thinner in his leg. He doesn't have that same amount of bulging and he doesn't have the sirloin definition. From a trimness perspective, we can see more fat being laid down across the dock and in the crotch regions. Looking along this carcass, we go loin, rack, shoulder. You can see along this loin edge, there's less definition. It's not blocked out, it's more curved round flat. Because of that, we know that there's more fat in here and less muscle. You can't see that individual muscle seam coming through. For these reasons, we place lamb one above lamb two today. We have another two lambs here today. This time we're looking at the inside face on the lambs. There's less to look for here from a yield perspective, but lots we can see from quality. From looking at yield, we want to look at our crotch fat, our cotarda region, which is also where we sex our lambs. Our crotch and cotarda region are good indicators of internal fat and also intramuscular fat, so in the seams. The other thing is in our cotton and udder region, we're looking for the sex. You might be able to see right on my finger is the pizzle. This lamb is a male. Pocket fat in the flanks is also worth noting and along our breast edge. From a quality point of view, we'll be looking inside the carcass. But first I'll just talk from yield. When we compare these two, you can see a greater amount of crotch and cotarda fat in this first lamb number three than in this second lamb number four. When we look down, we can see that they're fairly similar in the flank edges and along the flank pocket. And over the breast, there's minimal differences. Because of this, this is why we don't use it as a major determination of yield. It's an observational area. We've got to look at the exposed lean in our flanks. We have our primary flank at my thumb, our secondary flank and our diaphragm. In here we can assess lean meat colour and the amount of streaking which is an indicator of intramuscular fat. As we move down we can also look at the amount of feathering and streaking which is this fat in between the ribs. This is our indicator of quality in lamb. Our age indicator in lamb is the nature of the ribs itself. If you can see on this lamb in here, we have lovely bright cylindrical small ribs. We call these ribs youthful. When we move across, we look here and we can notice that in the flanks there's less streaking. Between the ribs there's less streaking, so that's less intramuscular fat, less IMF, less marbling. But the ribs are worthy of note here. They're flatter, they're whiter, and they're larger. Because of that, this lamb is physiologically older and unlikely to eat as well. Whilst lamb quality is not a major determination of value currently in the Australian market or in our judging, it's very important to note, and it's also traits that will split tight pairs. Remembering in summary, lamb value comes from yield. We assess yield with trimness and muscling. Look for that definition and bulging. Look for the bluing for the trimness. Remember that fat is flat and muscle has curves and definition. Look for bluing over the leg and the loin. Remembering to use quality only to split tight pairs. And when looking for it, 
You can use streaking and feathering in the flanks and between the ribs respectively and look for the colour, thickness and shape of ribs for age. If you keep these tips in mind, you'll do fine in lamb. Good luck with the competition and your future training.